much. Well, we're talking about a topic um, that is becoming all too often in our community, gun violence, especially as it relates to teens. It is something that we have seen over and over and over again and something that we're covering even today in our newscast. There is a 17-year-old who uh, is recovering and also, well, a teenager who's recovering and a 17-year-old suspect is in custody along with an unidentified shooting uh, suspect, Billy Jane, after more than 70 casings were found following shots from automatic weapons in a Midlands neighborhood. Yeah, and the sheriff says that happened in less than 30 seconds. You're looking at the video of that shooting there. One organization, though, is stepping in, working to educate families about the dangers of firearms and how to properly secure your guns. A timely interview, but something they've been doing way before today. Absolutely. Joining us now is Sarah Venn and also Dr. Purnima Ramasamy from the Midlands Be Smart organization. Ladies, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you um, for having we've us. We've had so many conversations about this, uh, you know, mm. some things have changed, some things have not. Yeah. And before we even invited you to come on, we didn't realize that this story would have been happening. Mm. Yeah. 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 And one of the things that Sheriff Lott, when he might start with you, one of the things he said today in terms of a community and how we all need to respond is that people need to stop leaving their guns and vehicles because these weapons that they confiscated were stolen. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I think that's so important you brought that up. And we, in 2019 <coughs> data, Columbia ranked number three in the nation for stolen vehicles, uh, stolen guns from vehicles in the US. And then North Charleston ranked number four. So mm -hmm. we were in the top five in the nation. Thankfully, with our city's efforts, I, we and, and we also want to attribute to ourselves too. So with a lot of right. secure storage, advocacy was going on and then uh, we did not make it to the top 10, thankfully. We're still in the top 10 with Greenville and Ch North Charleston. Um, we're still not back to 2013 data. Mm -hmm. We are still at 2017 level. So if we continue to work on securing in our vehicles, uh, securing firearms, we would get to a place where it, it will, it's not a threat anymore. Yeah. And through your organization, you work with law enforcement and community partners, school districts as well. Something else the sheriff said today, Judy, there needs to be an emphasis on the parents mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. they're doing as far as monitoring their teenagers to make sure they're not getting these stolen guns. Uh, what are some of the educational tips that you share with the parents for uh, cues what to look out for? Um, basically, we just encourage any adult to make sure that their guns are locked. When mm -hmm. we say locked, we want their guns to be uh, secu locked, secured, and the ammunition stored separately. Teens cannot go into a store and buy a gun, so they're getting it from somewhere. Yeah. Um, and that's whether or not you own a gun, or even if you're not a gun owner, asking if when kids go over to somebody else's house if they have any unsecured guns in their home. If it's guns are secured, teens can't get their hands on them. Listen, Sheriff Lott expressed a lot of frustration today, which honestly, as a mm -hmm. mother, I feel myself because mm -hmm. you think about this neighborhood, residential neighborhood, this happened in the middle of the day, broad daylight, mm -hmm. bullets hitting people's homes, stories we've covered in recent weeks about children being shot while they're sleeping in their bed. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I want to be sure to point out about Be Smart this has nothing to do with gun rights or gun ownership. Exactly. This is Absolutely. all about gun Absolutely. safety, and Absolutely. that's the focus of your Absolutely. training that's coming up. Exactly, yeah. We have a training coming up on June 22nd. It's in um, the Washington um, Street United Methodist Church, right down here in Washington Street in Columbia. Mm -hmm. It's at 2 o'clock. Um, we're going to talk about Be Smart, all the things that you can do to encourage those conversations with other adults and making sure that their guns are secured and they're modeling responsible behavior around guns. Yeah, what would you say for the folks who just feel as if, you know, I've, ha I've been a gun owner for a while or I know that my friends own guns, I can get advice from elsewhere. They don't really feel like they need to know or have a refresher about some of the ways things have changed where the guns are becoming more accessible. What would you tell those folks? Um, I had a conversation with somebody at a tabling event just a couple weeks ago. He was storing his gun in his car and I just reminded him and I said, you know, Columbia is number three in the nation. It was number three in the nation at the time mm -hmm. for guns stolen out of cars. It's just having those conversations and making them aware that um, things are changing and people are, you know, I've heard Sheriff Lott talk about that people are just walking down the street, opening car doors and seeing mm -hmm. if they're open. And if you're keeping your gun in there, it's going to easily be stolen. Absolutely. Renema, will you go over for people who want to be a part of the solution, right? If they want to get involved, I mean, you can get involved as much or as little as you want. You know Absolutely. what I mean? There, there's, a, there's a range of being involved in this, but it's such 
great knowledge to have, even if you can't go out and volunteer at an event, the information that you're sharing at these volunteer trainings is so key. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there are ways we can, you can become a volunteer and then go and do tabling or be a pr presenter and do presentations with a PowerPoint uh, presentation. Or like you said, you know, just talking to your friends, like T is tell your peers to be smart. So just going over the acronym by S-M-A-R-T, and uh, you know, that would be an important message to share. And that <coughs> my, uh, by saying S-M-A-R-T, S is secure, all your guns in, in uh, homes and vehicles, and M, model responsible behavior. Mm -hmm. A is ask about unsecure guns in others' home your child visit. Yes. R is recognize the role of guns in suicide. And T is tell your peers to be smart. And by, uh, by saying secure, hiding a gun is not securing a gun. Mm -hmm. and putting it in a glove box is not securing a gun. It has to be in a lock box and it has to be attached to a fastener if, it's in the, if it is in a car. Absolutely, yeah. and those safety locks are available from a lot of resources in our community, absolutely free. I want to share the information once again. Um, that it's, I, I always mention parents, but really anybody can come out to these events. Those are some of the gun violence statistics. And what you have to remember, I mean, we can go through statistics with you all all day, but you have to remember that people are represented by these statistics. Children mm -hmm. are impacted through these statistics. So. If you want to be a part of addressing this issue in our community, Be Smart is a great way to get involved. The training is coming up June 22nd. It's from 2 until 3.30. Not a huge investment in time, but such critical information where you can get details on not only gun safety, but how to normalize these conversations and then take this information back to your school, back to your community, back to your church group, back to your neighborhood so that we can make our community safer for all of our children and our families. Ladies, thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank well, you thank so you so much for nice. having us thank here. You so thank much. you. And remember right. to be smart. Be yes. smart. Be smart. Yes. Great acronym. Smart. Thank you so much, ladies. We're going to take a quick break. Much more news and weather on the other side.